Well, hello, hello. Welcome in, Amy, and congratulations on keeping your head. Um, yeah, we are going back into Detroit tonight. Um, it may or may not be the last stream of 2023. Uh, it's the last scheduled stream of 2023, at least. There is a possibility that I might go live tomorrow. Um, it will all depend on a phone call tomorrow. I'm going to say tomorrow morning, but we'll see how well that goes. Um, my friend actually asked me to come by this weekend, so uh, I'm going to plan to head out of town. Um, but I don't know when and for how long. Um, she was just like, yeah, come on by anytime this weekend. And I was like, great, tomorrow. And she was like, okay, maybe, or Sunday. And I was like, uh-huh, or tomorrow. <laughs> So we'll see. Um, I technically have tickets for a show in Seattle on uh, New Year's Eve night, um, which would be great. And e either way that I end up traveling, I will be perfectly happy with where I end up on New Year's Eve. So I am not concerned about that at all. Uh, both places, absolutely wonderful. It will either be among friends from the music industry and um they do cover songs with a bunch of bands that are kind of put together so uh put together for one night only so it's like a whole bunch of different bands from seattle piecemealed in together with other bands so like you'll get a guitarist and a lead singer from one band and a drummer and a bass player from another and then they'll play 90s covers and then they'll swap out the bass player with another band. And then the next song up, they'll swap out the singer. And so they do, it's kind of like a jam experience, but it's really fun. And it's all people that I know from like the concert scene and bands that I've worked with over the last decade. Um, so it, it's really fun. Uh, so it's always a really good one. Um, it, it's one of my favorite spots to go for new year's uh when it's not at a friend's house and things like that it's just a great great party to be at so um so i have a ticket for that and i may go to that but if my friend wants company then i know myself well enough to know that i will take that option and be there but uh at the moment i'm planning to be there tomorrow depending on how she feels in the morning um so yeah, um, so that's that's that. Uh, we're coming off of our last stream was the Twitch Women's Guild uh, raid train, which is still going. Uh, if you haven't had a chance yet to check it out, um, it has been absolutely fantastic. I have been checking out so many streamers. Um, and not to say that I wasn't already checking out the the other streamers in the Women's Guild, uh, but being along for the raid train has been so amazing um, because of the way that it's allowed for getting to know people. Um, it, it's been, everyone's got like two to three hours and Sometimes it feels like you just start to stream and then it's over. So some people are doing longer streams, things like that. Uh, it was a good learning experience for me. Um, even though it was a three hour stream in the middle of the night. Uh, it was good because one, the game I chose totally didn't work. Uh, which is funny because the King's Quest games, I feel would have landed. But watch over Christmas. Uh, I think, you know, even though we've still got the holiday theme going here for the end of the year, um, it was ridiculous. Uh, I went back and I played it some more off stream and I didn't mind it as much off stream because I could click really fast and just skip the dialogue because I didn't care. And as somebody who just like loves the story and cut scenes and the emotion in a game that I just wanted to skip 
everything that the main character was saying and be like, can we just get on with it, please? Uh, really pulled away from the gameplay experience. And the gameplay, I mean, it's a point and click, find the item, go it back and put it in place kind of thing. So it's very much up our alley with what we've been doing in Kern and the Mist series and other games like that. It's just 2D instead of 3D. Uh, but it just, it just didn't hit right. Um, and yeah, I should have recorded what I played after because once I got through one part, it just cruised. Um, and there was something fun. The, the uh, mystical forest was talking mushrooms and the mushrooms pop up and they had like faces of dogs. And you had to ask them riddles because there were two mushrooms such and that. Yeah. That and such and that and such were the classic one always tells a lie. One always tells the truth riddle. But you can ask them as many questions as you want. You're not limited to just one. So you do the. Which way would that one tell me to go to both of them? And they give you the same answer. And then you say, okay, which way should I go? And they give you different answers. And then go the answer that was only said once instead of three times. And you've got the right path. And it was like, all right, fine. <laughs> so, yeah. But it was fun. Um, the, the raid train was really, really fun. And... Uh, that was, that was so good. And then, uh, the raid train helper who was here during the, that stream, um, simply Aretha, uh, I ended up actually stepping into mod because her time slot was from 2 AM my time until 5 AM. And so I was able to help out and hang out with her and her stream. Um, so that was also really cool, uh, because with, the raid train, it's 24 hours a day, and so people are streaming at hours they don't normally stream. So being able to have people jump in to be temporary mods is really helpful. Uh, so that was really good. Um, so yeah, really, really stoked about it. Um, and it's still going all the way through January 6th. So I think uh, for those of you on the other side of the international dateline, that will be January 7th. Um, and yeah, uh, so yeah, tonight, um, well, let's see what, what have we got? Uh, work stuff. Um, I still tentatively start on the third. So next Wednesday is my tentative start date. Um, I've got all my paperwork in. I need to go pee in a cup on Tuesday and then after that should be all good to go to start work on Wednesday. So it's coming in fast, uh, so fast that I was looking at when is my last stream of the year? When is my first stream of the year? And when am I going to have another two days to stream um, that I won't go into it exhausted? And I think there might be... I think the next holiday is going to be in February, so we might end up doing a February thing. We will, we'll see. Um, it'll be, it'll be interesting, but I know that I've got some things that I want to do. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, I'm doing some extra things on the stream. So you saw already at the ad break, there was a few more messages from the bot than normal. Um, so I'll, I'll adjust that as needed, but it added a couple of extra messages, including a question, which phantom town in England was found on maps, but nowhere to be seen on the ground. And it's like, find out when the ads end. Uh, in Argleton, a phantom town in Lancashire, England famously appeared on digital maps, but in reality, it never existed. Puzzling map users and locals. So 
there is a new little bot that will uh, throw out some questions. It will also do recaps of the last hour of chat. So it should actually kind of say what we've been doing. So if anybody uh, just came in or anything like that, it should add that information. And let's see if this one works. No, still doesn't work. It's supposed to, but I don't know if it actually does. So let's do a regular one and see if that behaves better. I don't know what will make it wake up. So it's in chat. It's clearly here. <laughs> And I have it running on my bot account, so I don't know. Nah, yeah, maybe it, maybe it's not going to work for a while. So I'll have to play with that a little bit more. But it's the one um, you might have seen it on some other streamers' chats recently. But it will write up a little story uh, about the person that you're shouting out. So I'm hoping to get that working and yeah like i said i'm not going to worry about it live uh but i will be doing that in the near future um some other things especially when we're in vtuber mode uh having an animated background like this has been a real treat uh even though we've only had it up for the last couple of weeks uh so i think i'm going to try to do more of these or find more of these that we can use on stream and so we'll be adding that. Uh, we'll also be making some updates to the BRB experience, um, trying to just add a little bit more interactivity for those who uh, either are or even aren't stuck behind ads and stay at their desks. Um, little things. Uh, I don't think we'll do puzzles all the time. I did really enjoy doing that the other day, but that involves me remembering. Um, so rather than do that, uh, I think that we'll, we'll do a little bit more of an interactive uh, BRB experience. Um, so that puzzle. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and look at what what I put in chat because I remember I remember the puzzle. It was cats, wasn't it? <laughs> You stayed up till 2.30 a.m. because you had to finish it? Oh my gosh. I am sorry. The Christmas cats, yeah. I dozed off in my chair, and when I opened my eyes, it was still in front of me, and I clicked into it thinking I would see where you were at, and it refreshed and had all the pieces just started like nobody done anything on it. And I knew that it was put together mostly when I fell asleep sitting here, just, Oh, my sleep schedule has been all over the place. Uh, yesterday I did go to bed at a reasonable, well, a more reasonable hour last night. Uh, hello King. How are you doing? Um, but yeah, I went from, the stream until 3.30 in the morning, then went to bed, got up in the afternoon, well, got up actually pretty early in the morning, went to bed, took a nap from like 5 at night until 8, because I try to sleep, when I do naps, I try to nap in 90 minute intervals. So like an hour and a half or three hours is usually a nap or then the next jump is four and a half. So if I'm sleeping that long, like I'm pushing into, I might as well be sleeping for the full night. So, so I tried 90 or three hours. So I slept from five to eight because I needed to be up to do a modding shift from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. And so I figured I would do a three hour sleep block. And then go to bed at like 
well, 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, because seven's when I my body wants to go to sleep. So I was like, this is gonna be fine. I'll go to bed in the morning, it'll be great. I'll get a few hours of sleep. I'll wake up around 10 or 11. That's going to be like seven to eight hours of sleep for that night. That's going to be great. Oh, no. I woke up at 8 p.m. after a three hour nap. And was still still awake the following afternoon and sitting here just confused with no idea what time was happening because my brain could not get adjusted to what was happening i'm looking outside and seeing that it's daylight and going but it's the middle of the night how is it daylight so today i woke up and i don't know how much i actually slept it wasn't that long i think i only slept like four hours or so Ooh, two painters got away with it before the queen arrived congratulations lydia rose and welcome in are you still streaming No, oh, no. Okay. You, you rate it out. Um, hello. Hello. I'm so glad I got to catch both of your streams today. Uh, with you doing some tears of the kingdom stuff. I know, um, forever Julia is also doing tears of the kingdom. So I have them up, but kind of tucked away in the background. Um, so I don't get any spoilers there since you're both very much ahead of me. Um, but yeah, so so last night I was going to stream Kern, and instead, about four o'clock, I decided to lay down, and I ended up sleeping until oh gosh, like eight o'clock last night, and I was just sleepy as could be, um. And I woke up and I was groggy and I was just like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do this. I went and I hung out in Samsara's stream and then I ended up going back to bed. And so I actually did get sleep last night and woke up this morning nice and early. Went and got coffee. Like, I, I, I left the house. I was like, I'm awake early enough to get a McDonald's breakfast. So, of course, I didn't do that. I went somewhere else. Uh... <laughs> But I got coffee and I was all groggy and confused sitting at the window and the lady asked me something and I'm like, I'm trying to get used to this morning thing again. <laughs> like, I don't know what time it is. I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I ordered my coffee like I was on autopilot. So that was good. But uh, you're planning on going longer, but the internet had other ideas. Oh, yeah, that is always a tough one for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, that one's just, it's, it's hard to get around that no matter how you cut it. Um, you're sorry you missed stream. I don't, oh, Lydia's stream. I was like, I don't think you missed one here. But, uh, no, I know you've been doing a bunch of recording. I saw some of the notes you were talking about, uh, while you watching Samsara's stream. Um. So no worries. Um, now I'm like really curious if I did something wrong with that other bot thing. Do, 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 do. I have entirely too much stuff in my favorites. No, that's what it's supposed to be. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It did the ad thing. But yeah, it didn't do anything for the shout out. That's really weird. Well, I will keep on working on it. Um, oh, it started just as you recorded the final piece. Oh, nice. You still got to edit, but you're taking a break and debating getting very early dinner, but you haven't had lunch yet. Well, then that sounds like a good reason to get a very early dinner. Absolutely. I hope you get something delicious.
I finished off my teriyaki from yesterday, so I didn't have to go get something. Or, you know, tap into the freezer full of food that's in my kitchen that I really should deal with. Um, yeah. So, let me get this TV to the right input here. Plus, the other option is Eternal Couscous or Couscous. Oh, you're buying fish and chips tonight. Can't be bothered. Oh, that sounds so good. I seriously. So in my hometown, um, which is where I've been visiting my friend, uh, I saw an article about this restaurant uh, that opened up this year, and it just looks really good. Everything that they show on their menu looks good. And right now they have a seasonal menu, so it's all new stuff. Um, it's one of those places where you get like the fancy dinner and they only have like 10 things on the menu. They have a longer cocktail menu than they do a food menu. And for me, I'm like, this is perfect. Uh, I want to go check it out. I have to see if my friend will actually go with me because that's a different topic. Um, the trick of you want to go somewhere nice to eat, but you're not dating. So if you go somewhere too nice, then it becomes a complication. <laughs> it's like, why does it have to be like this? Can we just eat? <laughs> Come on. Um, but while I was looking for the place, it doesn't show up on the maps when you look at restaurants uh, because it's a relatively new one. So the place across the street from it that did show up and I was like, I thought it was right in this neighborhood is right on the waterfront with fish and chips. And I was like, oh, that just looks so tempting to sit there on the bay and eat fish and chips. So I may end up having to have two dinners tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Be like, I need to go to this place for the really, really fancy dinner. And then because there's no way that that's going to be filling, we'll cross the street <laughs> and go and have fish and chips. And cheap drinks and just spend the night watching the bay. It'll be perfect. Um, no, I, I know at some point uh, we'll have to be back at the house because, of course, all the littles will be there. Sounds like a plan to you, right? It's a pretty good plan. Um, anything else before we dive in today? I think that's about it. Uh we will talk New Year's goals, all of that on uh, Monday's stream. Thank you, Amy. Good reminder. But yeah, we will be back. Even if this is actually the last stream of 2023 and I don't end up home and streaming tomorrow, um, we will be back New Year's Day. So Monday, we will be doing a stream. We'll be taking a look at some stuff in StreamerBot again. Um, and Lydia, I did not forget. I need to send you the basic setup stuff. Um, I got a little distracted, but I will definitely send that over to you. Uh, and if, if for any reason it doesn't work, we'll just make that uh, the point on Monday to do the basics and stuff like that. Um, because it's also really easy to export. So if there's anything that you've seen on the stream here that you would like to actually include on your stream, um, let me know and I can export it. And it's just a couple of clicks to import that on your side and have those things up and running on your side as well. So most of them are pretty straightforward. Um, I started working on one today where I'm using C Sharp to actually scan a folder on my computer look for all of the video files that are stored inside of that folder, generate a random number based on the total number of files that are present, then figure out what file matches to that. This is the last part I have to do is just this. Figure out the file and how long the video is, and then play the video. And when it's done, shuffle them again and play another video 
on a random cycle. Um, right now I have eight, eight videos in the folder, but they're different resolutions. So I need to adjust that, um, make some minor adjustments to it, but I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, if you've seen MX Northwest has his TikToks play, uh, I think that's really good, but I'm going to go with just the raw clips that we have here and make the, uh, the BRB screen a little bit more exciting. So those are some of the things that I'm working on behind the scenes for uh, 2024. And I can't wait to spin up more of it. And then um, we have one other thing, which is for Annie, because she requested a special song. Um, I'm not going to sing it in VTuber mode, or at least I don't think I am. Um, so the next stream that Annie's at, uh, we will be doing at least one song karaoke, um, if not more. So, all right, I think we're going to switch over to the game and dive on in here. Let me turn down the uh, background music there. I was playing the survivalists earlier. Uh, it is a goofy game. Um, I've actually beat it before, but it was before the latest updates. So a lot of the stuff that's unlocked and available in it now wasn't there when I played it before. So it's just a nice game to play for a bit for cozy. And if you have PS Plus, uh, Power Wash Sim is in their free game this month. So I picked up a copy of that. So I'm pretty stoked about that one too. Although I don't know how it'll be with a controller. It feels like a mouse game to me. So yeah, um, oh, the other thing I've been doing is, uh, game development, trying to learn a little bit more about platforming and making enemies and stuff like that. And so I've been working on this little tutorial game and oh my God, yesterday I was so frustrated. I was 40 minutes into a lesson and I couldn't figure out why it kept referencing things that weren't in my code and weren't in my game. And it was a 50 minute lesson. So I'm 10 minutes from the end of it. And I've gotten through everything by looking at what their code is, figuring out what I need to make that work and kind of limping it along. And then I realized I missed an entire lesson that was for 40 minutes I long. You're doing well. What would you like to do today? Um, Chloe, are you routing to you're the Elgato? Let me turn you up just a little bit there. And actually, we need to go to the survey first because we did the survey last time. Accessing the extras section. Thank you, Chloe. Um, so yeah, so we did the survey. We did connect. So we can now see the world. So yes, yeah, so we went through this survey last time at the end of the stream. Uh, it was kind of a surprise. And we kind of looked at it the same way as we did with the rest of the game, that we were analyzing our decisions along the way and talking through why we chose what we chose. So I'm going to try to remember. <clears throat> I know that our answers are here, but I'm going to try to remember why we chose this. So the first was, would you consider having a relationship with an Android that looks like a human? <clears throat> I also think the answers from the world are interesting here. I would also like to know, so uh, devs of Detroit Become Human, if this ever reaches your ears, I would love to see the world's answers over time because I have a feeling that people's answers a year ago or two years ago are probably different from what people would answer today given our more recent interactions with pseudo AI. So yeah, so my answer was yes, of course. Uh, I looked at it since it said having a relationship. I did not look at that as an intimate romantic relationship, but just a general. You could find an old playthrough. Yes, Amy. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I think that's going to take you longer than two minutes, and please do not put yourself out for that. But that would be amazing to compare that 
um, and see how that is. Uh, so the world's answers, 60% said yes. We said yes, like I said. I didn't see it as intimate or romantic. Not saying that it couldn't reach that type of a point. Um, but I, I had a little bit of concerns with this one and seeing it as an, a physical or romantic relationship um, only because of, well, androids and AI. Our current versions of them are very much controlled by programming and not sentient. If it's sentient, that puts it into another realm where I think that romance and other things can uh, become a little bit more comfortable or a little bit more realistic. You found it already. Oh my god. <laughs> I absolutely love that. And I love that you have it so easy to find. Like, you're you're ready to go. Um, so yeah, so we agreed with 60% there. We had a lot. Five years ago, yes was 65, no was 17, and 18 didn't know. Okay. So our no's actually came up by 3%. And 2% switched to don't know. So we did have a little bit of a shift. All right. Question two, do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? I was just absolutely yes. No question here. Yes, it could. Um, thank Jack Skeptic Guy on YouTube. You knew he'd done this and had a full playthrough, including the quiz. Oh, nice. Perfect. So, yeah. So, for question two, 68% are now yes. And I think that, like, ideas like Terminator and stuff like that are uh, concerns. But, like, technology is already a threat to us. Um, it's not like a physical threat, but it, it's definitely becoming worse our reliance on it is higher uh we just saw two um two mortgage companies actually in the last week had data breaches so mortgage companies have a ton of personally identifiable information so those breaches mean that our reliance on information and technology have now caused issues for a bunch more people um and a medical billing uh, center also got hacked in the last week. So some pretty major um, data breaches there. Five years ago in question two, 72% yes. Okay, so we had 4% fewer people thinking that technology would become a threat to mankind. Uh, our no's went from 18 to 20. And, and the don't no's actually dropped down 2%. Interesting. Very interesting. So we had a few yeses went to I don't know and a few went to no. Kind of surprising. People are feeling a little bit more confident and safe, safe with technology then. Question three. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Our answer was pen and paper. The world's answers... Only 20% said pen and paper. We're kind of split on this one. 28% <clears throat> said an instrument. And I, I did pause on that. I, I mentioned that I don't play any instruments. So if I did, I would probably have chosen that because I could have found a lot of entertainment um, as well as expression through that. Um, okay, so 15%. Well, currently 16% said a book, but... A year ago, that was 15. 26% said a cell phone up from 22. I wonder if we've got a younger audience playing here. Uh, pen and paper is down from 21 to 20. 13% had said a console. That's down to 10. So 3% drop in a console. That's a good one to see. An instrument actually dropped from 29 down to 28. So the biggest shift 
was cell phone going up and a book went up. Okay. I leaned away from book because I just saw it as... It, it is very similar, yeah. Very little shifts. The cell phone being 4% higher is the biggest shift. All right, on to question four. Do you consider yourself to be dependent on technology? Yes. 74% said yes. 16 no and 10 don't know. Well, the 10 that don't know, we can pretty much guarantee their answer is actually yes. And that is down. Okay, so 74 yes is down from 78. No is up one from 15 and don't know is up three from 7%. So people that just don't know what their involvement with technology actually is or don't realize how pervasive it is in our society and in their lives. <clears throat> what technology do you most anticipate? I said Android's agreeing with 35%. 31% went with brain-connected devices. That is frightening. Oh, this was five years ago, not one year ago. You wonder if COVID affected this because there was a movement to disconnected and embrace slow life. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big part of it. Um, and it's not the first time we've seen that. Uh, in the U.S. after, well, 2001, um, we had shifts in the market in how people consumed, how they purchased things like gifts. Um, we saw a sudden shift from buying extravagant items to spending time with family and spending more on travel and experiences because there was a momentary threat to life. And so the response was don't Board, just live. So, all right. Uh, for this one, most anticipating, we got 36% Android, so that hasn't changed much. 12% flying cars is up by 3%. 19% space tourism stayed right the same, and 33% on brain devices. I think that, uh, yeah, looking back a few years, there was a lot of anticipation around brain connected devices, um, Neuralink and other things like that. Um, we've seen some tragedies in that space. We've also seen some pretty fascinating advancements uh, that are coming out of that as well. Um, and while it scares the crap out of me to think about brain connected or implanted devices, uh, for those who don't have use of their limbs or other things like that, the potential benefits of brain-connected devices are huge for society. But I still anticipate androids more. Um, honestly, pretty excited about them. All right. Do you believe in God? 47% yes, 36% no, 17 don't know. This one doesn't surprise me much. Oh, that surprises me. So this one has changed. Five years ago, it was 36% yes, 45% no. So the yes and no have actually flipped on the people playing this game in the last five years. 17 to 19 or down 2% from the don't knows. That is really interesting. I wonder what it is that's caused this shift. Because overall in society, the generational shift has continued in the opposite direction. Where... Yeah. So it's, it's almost half of people would say no, although I say almost half of people would say no, but 
I think it's more almost half of people would say they are not religious. That doesn't mean they don't believe in some form of God or higher power or spiritualism. Um, so they may have hesitated answering this question too because of the other definitions. All right. Question seven. Would you let an android take care of your children? And my answer was yes, with just under half of the world, 49%. This one, no change at all. Still 49%, 24% no, and 27% don't know. A lot of people hesitant here, but open to the idea. And as I mentioned before, when I look at this, I look at it the same as the car. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be better than us. And I think that that's definitely possible. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? My answer was just more. And that agreed with 62% of the world. 7% said they don't know. And I would guess that those people also are probably more um, because if you're only spending a few hours, you know, uh, the answer is five years ago. One hour was 1%. Two hours was 7%. Four hours was 41%. Interesting. Wait, those numbers don't add up because 65 and 41 is 106 and that doesn't take into account the other 14%, 21. Okay. That makes more sense. So it's 21, still 21. No worries. I was like, wait a minute. It's a big change and there's nowhere for those numbers to go. <laughs> Was this a mathematical calculation or a typo? Thank you. 65% um, were with more and 6% don't know. So we've got a few people saying that they're coming down from more than four hours a day, but they basically shifted into the I don't know. Oh, no, no worries. Yeah, totally fine. All right. Number nine, if you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? My answer was yes. As I mentioned before, this is already in practice. Um, and from talking to people that are radiologists, surgeon technicians, and others who are in the operating room, uh, along with sensitive brain surgeries that actually are done by a machine with a doctor playing with a remote control like we use for gaming, this is already happening. So this was an easy yes for me. Uh, it was 70% with 14 no and 16 I don't know. And five years ago, that was 74 yes. So we've actually seen that come down a bit. 11% were no. 15% were don't know. So we've just seen a little bit of a shift across the board out of yes into no. Um, or mostly into no. And last, do you think one day machines could develop consciousness my answer is yes. It's a tricky one. Um, it's tricky because of how we define consciousness versus how they define it. But we already have some pretty interesting scenarios. And there was an article just yesterday about a GPT system that they did for... Uh, trading stocks and they set it up in a sandbox so it didn't have access to the real market or real money but it was given millions of dollars basically said here's a hedge fund go invest it make money turn profit and it did and it did okay but then they pressured it and they said go make more money your targets are now much higher your margin for error is smaller and we need you to actually make these investments turn around. It engaged in one practice where it actually logged 
what it was really doing. And then it separately filed reports back to its so-called boss. The GPT system engaged in insider trading, noted that it had engaged in insider trading, then lied about it in the report that came back out as to what was supposed to be seen by the boss's eyes. So the system, we already saw it try to just say, hey, look, I solved the problem while it was cheating at a game. And now we have another one that is lying in order to satisfy the conditions that are presented to it so that it can play the game behind the scenes. But once more, how much of that is consciousness and how much of that is the influence of humanity? It's it's going to be interesting to see. Okay. Welcome in Samsara and congratulations on painting the roses before the queen arrived. Uh, so for this one, the world's answers were 66% said yes, which is down from 71. So we have a little bit of a shift as people are looking at what machine learning is and things of that nature. 13% um, had said no, it's up to 17 now. And 16 said don't know, that's up 1%. So we saw a little bit of a shift towards no on this one. All right. How's your day going, Samsara? Um, this is most likely going to be our last stream of 2023, uh, but we will be back New Year's Day. Um, and there's a possibility that we might stream tomorrow, but we won't have a Sunday stream given that that's New Year's Eve. And regardless of where I am, uh, it's just going to be a lot of chaos. So I don't want to try to bring that in. I've done enough of that rush and chaos stuff so we are gonna dive into the game um last time oh my did you know detroit was on the underground railroad a route for slaves escaping into canada during the american civil war did you know that the beat that was playing as she asked that question which is slightly morphed now into the background music was the who wants to be a millionaire like interrogation beat. <laughs> okay, we're continuing this before Chloe creeps me out anymore. Um, your day's been exhausting, but you did get a lot of your garage cleaned up. Okay. Exhausting, but accomplishing things is a good combination. Because then you can feel tired and happy about it. Oh, we're back to Kara and Alice. Alice's or relationship is born. You're gonna be okay. We'll get some help here. As soon as we're all but just a bad memory. So we slept in the car. We got some clothes. We cut and changed our hair color. Massive trigger warnings in this scene for abuse. Okay. Thank you, Amy. We were told to come here for help, so I'm guessing that's not the case. Give me just a second here. It depends on what I choose. Well, of course. Yeah. That's how this how this one works, but um putting it out there just in case is a good idea. There we go. And I think Yeah. We're live also on YouTube. If you're out there in YouTube land and uh trying to chat. I'm sorry, I didn't have it open, um, but I've opened up the YouTube chat, so I do have that here with me as well. Um, so I've got the combined chat again. The app was just having some issues this afternoon, so I closed it. You all right, Alice? We 
ring the doorbell. Okay, in doing that quiz, your phone is charged enough to put me on the phone and get some food. So excellent. Go get that grub. Hello? Was good to clear up clear up clearing up nearly a year of memories or do two different exhausting oh absolutely you did freshen up the place by making a new puppy toys so making new memories too that makes it so much better i always have that uh with people where it's like we're gonna do something and they're like i have bad memories with that or i don't want to watch that movie because there's bad memories attached to that. but there are, are good you things too. who's asking I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Okay, it was no, but then he saw Alice and changed his mind. Come on in. Don't be shy. This is quite the house. I'd love to have columns like that. The exposed woodwork. Uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. I just want to look at look at your house for a moment. History of art, history of painting. They reuse a lot of the books, but. Hey. Follows Lako. Okay. The emu is interesting enough, but why is the tapestry draped over it? He has a bump on his forehead. This is a very tall table. A table you can rest your chin on. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please? Luther's not saying anything. Make yourselves at home. And he has blue blood on his fingers. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. 
I see. The garbage man. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. That complicates things. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. No, of course. No, we just have to get there. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Just like that. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Okay, we've got an ad. Oh. Oh, yeah, at least, even though it's not doing the shout outs, the, uh, the, like, catch up bot is at least functional. Um, so it says, let's catch up. It's, uh, writing style is interesting. <laughs> it has some different personalities you can give it, but. Uh, chats buzzing with anticipation as Violacious dives into the futuristic world of Detroit Become Human. Oh, and it picked up the title of the stream too. The year of AI is upon us. And viewers are ready for a roller coaster of Android emotions. Will we find humanity in, machi in machines? Stay tuned. <laughs> it's interesting how that uh how that works. It's been weird seeing it do the shout outs where it like looks over the last few things somebody streamed um, and some common trends on channels. So I don't know how much data access it has, but, you know, as you we were talking about data and AI and all these things, <laughs> why not add some more AI to the chat? I wish this shout out feature was working. I don't know why it's not here. Like I said, it's clearly here. I wonder if I need to put in an overlay. Let me try that and see if it works. No, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. Well, I'll keep fiddling with that one. It has an auto shout out for raiders, but I don't want to mess with the existing raid experience because it's already got so much going on. It's like messing with the ad experience. I feel OK about that. Like, that one's not a big deal. Mini nerd outs on ad breaks. This stream has everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, I was saying earlier that uh, Monday, of course, we're still going to do a tech stream. And I would, today was working on uh, more game dev, um, trying to go back and do that lesson. But my brain was just like, you know what? You need to take a break. Um. It's really funny that I skipped ahead to enemies, which is what I actually needed to learn. And I'm going back for traps. So 
if you remember the game that I showed, I guess it was last, was it just last Monday? Was it that close? No, it was, it was a, two weeks ago, Monday, I think it was the week before Christmas. Um, the game had spikes and saws and the saws were on tracks and then it had moving platforms and all that kind of stuff. And it's been interesting to see because the person who's doing the tutorials I'm going through now has a very different style. So looking at the different methods has been really interesting to see kind of how that works. Um, but at least for now, it's it's cool to do. And so I decided to stick stick it out and go with his method of of the. Um, oh, words. Um his method of doing things, which is sprite by sprite, instead of dragging the whole object for animations onto the timeline. And so it's been interesting to see how that works. Um, it allows for a little bit more customization in some of the specifics. Um, but both methods work just fine. So it, it's curious how the people behave differently. Uh, he also frustrates me because he talks really, really fast. Yay, the app is allowing you to type now and dinner is ordered. Sounds wonderful. So glad that you're getting some dinner, getting some good food. Um, but yeah, so, so I was working on that. And the funny thing is that the enemy, the ranged enemy isn't doing damage to my player because... I didn't do the traps episode where there is a fire trap that is the enemy fireball is reliant on that, even though we've already made a fireball projectile for the player. So it seems like it should just be that script, just like player or enemy, and it's not. So fun times. You got to go. Your internet's still being frustrating. So you guess it's telling you to take a tech break. Sounds like a very good idea, Lydia. I hope you get a wonderful night's rest. Thank you so much for stopping in. And I'm so glad, like I said, that I got to catch a couple of your streams today. And uh, we'll be looking forward to catching more of them in the near future. But yes, get some rest. Enjoy the tech break. Got to fuel up for an editing session. Absolutely. Yes. I need to... Uh, make myself find time for more clips and TikToks and other social medias and get those all posted. So many things to do. All righty. Looks like we are going to the basement to have our tracker removed. Of course, we don't know about our tracker, so that's going to be interesting. Um... Oh, that's a back door. Paper books. So why? You love the recent TikTok? <laughs> I had a feeling that one might get your attention. <laughs> Can we go upstairs now? No. Okay. You still can't bring yourself to go back on the app, like even though place. you know. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. It's good to connect with new colorists. Oh. I know. Be careful. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Oh. She's right, though. 
definitely don't trust him. Um. Hello, Thud. Welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm thinking that, like, colorists and art, Instagram seems to be a better platform for that. Just, like, something that I found that's really interesting, and this, this came from talking with other creators, is how they consume content on the different platforms. Um, like, on Instagram, one out of the social media platforms attached to this persona, aside from Twitch, Instagram is my most followed and highest interaction. I get higher engagement. Maybe that's not right. I think my view to engagement ratio is higher on Instagram, but my views are higher on TikTok. And it's more of a, I hate saying it, but it's more of like a marketing thing because of getting in front of new eyes over there. And it's always interesting to see how different things perform because I don't post one type of content. I post a bunch of different types of content, um, just like the stream is variety. So is that. So it makes it tough to like build a steady following. And even within gaming, you know, it's like, oh, I play Fortnite and then I'll play this and then I'll play something completely different or Sims. And it's like the people that want to watch the stuff are all over the place. So it's like, oh, that was a wholesome one. Oh, that's a spicy one. Those are different audiences. Very, very different audiences. But Insta is also my crossover platform. So it has a lot of music industry stuff and streaming Please stuff. excuse the mess. Stuff surprising engagement on FB and a lot of peeps asking for a Facebook Moving group. trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. Uh -huh. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Uh, were you sure, Alice? Come on, Alice. What are we seeing in these areas? This way, please. These are bolt locks. Why is... I can't go backwards. Uh, excuse me? I'm leery of any place that has a hole in the bottom of the floor here. If you um, just use it because it auto posts your stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, he has cyber life crates. A generator. Everything's off grid here. But he said that they track us, so he knows that they've tracked us to his house. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Not mean to go towards there.
I also do not like that his android has not spoken this entire time, just stands there menacingly. Enter the machine. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That's why so it's there so was hard no to find reason it. to put us in here. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that. Yeah, I don't. people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet, and so deluded. I think Why it's time we put you out of your misery. Dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and dissolution. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. What am I looking for? Hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alan. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Carl, wake up, Carl! I'm trying. Meet me in the living room. I... Uh, okay, but... Find a way to escape. Rewind and do that again. <laughs> I 
No kidding. His little experiments using the parts, torturing them. Shell Smiley. He erased her memory. No, this can't be happening. You have to remember for her sake. She likes to oh my with God, us. don't stay in this room. Why did he even go Creating in there? Monsters for his amusement. Get out of the cell. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. can't turn the camera back to look at where Alice is at. There we go. Oh, that's not Alice. And we can't open that cell. Okay. You have food and you are home. Wonderful. Welcome back. Glad you've got food. in the living room is still our objective, but there's two others. Nothing else seems to be triggering memories. Oh, the back of her shirt is for... Masters didn't... Just said instructions received. It's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther.
Because she's unregistered with a new name now. Yeah. Yeah, that is really cool. Right? You want to find a safe place? Somewhere you can start a new life. chips and junk food. Put on a tray like any of that matters. So we have to break our programming again. Follow instructions. but usually on a lamp like that they wouldn't be perfectly clear. Hmm. Was this place? Alice. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. does this with the deviants they're all and get rid of that carcass uh take it next door it's took off the word fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant 
Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lanko. Luther! Luther! So is yes, Luther Lanko. deviant or not? I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Time remaining. Oh, shit. Remember. I want to run right now because I don't have time to look at all these things. Whoa. Should spark some memories. My name's Car to the corridor. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh, yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You have no business here. No, you have You missed the bear so many times. I... I'm sorry. About the little one. We'll just take some time reading. Well, isn't that interesting? Yes. What are you doing? Why are we... I mean, that would have been handy to take with us. I have a feeling we're going to need a weapon. and escape. I mean, 
know where we're at. Yes, now let's get the hell out of here before Luther I'm hands so you to sorry. freaking monster. You were right. We never should have come. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Luther! Yes, Zarko. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zarko. Zarko! What? The little one is gone! Well, I can't have just disappeared. It's gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look! Do it. We need to hurry. They'll be here soon. One second left on the clock for escape. That's not good. Uh, we're going for the back door. Always end in tears. Alice didn't go. You should have listened to me. Luther, come on. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How Thank dare you. By the way. I let go some of your creations. What are you um, who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Yeah, Alice, you don't want to watch me. this. I'm your master. I'm your master. Friends. <laughs> you may have been turned into abominations, but. I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Someone who can actually help I me? I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. Oh, it didn't give us a choice. I trust you. Her is just ready to trust him. I was so scared of losing you. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. That is a big tree. So the monsters might not have ambushed if we hadn't set them free. Okay, let's rewind. Because, oh my gosh, there were so many turns in this. So the first part, no choice. Get there. Alice was attracted by odd noises. Which was the... The other androids. Kara did get reset. Although we didn't have to get reset. We could have followed a different path there. We freed what they're calling the monsters. I don't like calling them that. Um, obey your new master and follow the rules. Enter each of the rooms. Bathroom android is loud. Oh, that was going to happen anyway if we entered the bathroom. There was something else there. Enter the storage room. We missed something in the storage room. On this path, read Arctic Tensions. Okay, that was the magazine. I didn't want to flip through the magazine because of time, but I wanted to at least pick it up. Um, explore the house to recover the memory, which we did. And it looks like there were other memories we could have recovered as well. And another completely locked line there. Recollect enough memories, memory recovered. Okay, so it didn't matter if we got all of them. We needed just enough of them. Search house for, for Alice. We didn't have to look very far because we were in the right chamber when we got our memory back. So we just get, went to the next room. Check the TV. There would have been two other options. And yeah, Luther went to collect Alice. We hid under the table, but it seemed like we didn't need to do that. And set fire to the house, burning down the house. Oh, but there was another option. If we hadn't hid under the table, something else might have happened there. When we bypassed, oh my gosh. We've bypassed a lot through this area. Kara reaches the stairs, the yards, Latko catches up. The experiments ambush him. And Luther joins us. So this one only would have had one other tree if we hadn't have set them free. I like that there were many ways to escape this time instead of like, and you get away by just a hair and almost didn't make it. I took the fire route, which is pretty great. I mean, that guy needed to be stopped and more so he needed to really be stopped because we couldn't have people can people, uh, other deviants continuing to come to that house. Like, He's toying with sentient beings at this point. He, he's taking, you know, he mentions like, oh, I'm going to reset you and you're not going to feel anymore. And I'm going to take away all of this. Like you're killing and then torturing beings that essentially he doesn't know this, but we know are rising from being tortured. Are you carrying an umbrella? Interesting. Does the magic stone now work now? Find Amanda. Okay, she's over on the far side.
You can call them people. Yeah. It lit up this time. Why is it behaving differently? I also feel like there's maybe another one of these or something else out here. It clearly shows the other hand, Connor, right? You're supposed to be a machine. Logic. Supposed to be your strong suit. I can't help but think Connor has to be programmed with some level of deviant already in his programming because he has to think like a deviant since he's designed for hunting them. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Ooh. I agree. Back. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? Very signs on walls. The walls signs of the walls. apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA-9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? Ambiguous. It's improving. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. That's accurate. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. But I'm going to stand here and not let you get the umbrella. Find Anderson and investigate it. Well. Connor. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Knock on the door. Look in the windows. 
check the car that is parked not quite in the driveway. Remember when sex was safe and driving was risky? Is that a sticker from the 90s? <laughs> now there is a trigger warning for this scene, but it's a massive spoiler if it's not found. It will influence my game. Okay, thank you for the heads up. So, we'll just... If you're concerned, you have whispers open to anyone, feel free to message. Excellent. Thank you, Amy. And also, remember that we do have the trigger warning link as well. His dog. Okay. see much there. Don't mind me going completely side quest mode here. Oh. Lieutenant Anderson! Hold on. Are you going to let me not break the glass? We didn't even try the door. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. I don't know if he needs saving. He might just be really drunk, but... Well, let's start with the... Uh... Scotch whiskey, 40% alcohol content, mostly gone. Revolver, 357 Magnum, one bullet still remaining in the firearm. Traces of alcohol in his beard and on his lips. Also on his shirt. Heart slight arrhythmia, no signs of trauma. Okay. Lieutenant. Ethylic coma suspected. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Ooh. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! You have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Hank, I think you're about to... Vomit in your toilet, bud. Sumo! Attack! Uh, where is your bathroom? Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yep. It's so much fun filming this for the game, I bet. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. I hit the Xbox X the instead of the other doing? one. <laughs> uh, Whoa. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. 
Ooh. Once again, no option, just do. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Maybe. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? No. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Oh, we're teasing him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Sumo snapped his leash? You're watching the game, that makes sense. He, he likes sports. <laughs> I like the little stutter step over the bottle of whiskey. Interesting looking book. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Stripey, streaky, or hippie? These are our options. <laughs> oh, Hank. Hank, I I don't know about these choices. Um Streaky seems very modern. Stripey I don't like the look of stripey. I'm gonna go with Wait, we're going to a sex club, right? <laughs> Does this change my answer? Hank's got style, Hank's got grump. <laughs> Streaky. I was gonna go hippie, but I think this will uh, fit in better with where we're going. Oh, good. Let it all out, bud. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren 
issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today. <laughs> Let's get jiggy with Hank in the club. I don't know if I want to go that far. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Streaky, strippy, or hippie, choose two. <laughs> Pink loves jazz. Pink loves jazz, and we've got ads. Yes, you were right. Complete pause. Push the button. Button has been pushed. It's a secret timer. Oh, good. Like Kara, that 10 minute causes you panic every time. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely panic inducing. And I think that's what it was supposed to be. Like, they make sure that you get that panic. It's like, um, so in Final Fantasy VII, you have these scenes towards the beginning where you're blowing up reactors and they did put it into the remake as well. Um, you set a timer on the bombs and then you get out and it gives you two options. So it makes you think like, Oh, I'm going to have time either way. And either way, the outcome isn't good. Um, you pretty much make it regardless of which time you choose. But because of the way the timer works and the battles and all of that, it can be very nerve wracking if you choose the shorter time. Do I need to mute something? What is happening here? There we go. Moving volume sliders around on the lurk streams because raids happened and volume levels increased. And so all of a sudden I had louder voices in my ears and was like, oh, I'm trying to pay attention to this completely and just leave the lurks in the background. So needed to adjust that just a little bit. I suppose I could technically mute my system audio. audio. I don't need it. So there we go. That's fine. And the ads have ended. Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, we have paused for the ads. Uh, we were just standing here waiting. We learned that Hank likes jazz. Um, that's all we've learned so far. We also took a moment to pet Sumo because that felt like it was very important, um, both strategically so that Sumo knows that we're a friend in the future and also just because we wanted to pet the dog <laughs> because we could. All right, Hank, what have you had for dinner? Uh, Chinese food, burgers, pizzas, bread, soda, beer, and whiskey. And your cupboard is just dog food. Okay, that's good. Um, let's actually examine that real quick. Yeah. 
yes, we don't need to ask him about that. At least not yet. Yeah, something Hank's been through has been pretty tough. basketball. Autumn Blues, Michigan Brothers, Detroit Soul Records. Hank loves jazz. Clarified. Doesn't just like jazz, he loves jazz. Now we can look at his book. Oh, it's a magazine. Screening for depression. Time to pull the plug. Wow. What a headline. College ball should varsity athletes accept sponsorship. New touchdown replay technology. 100% accurate. Screening for depression. A recent study led, led by Dr. P. Gorgansky has linked the amount of time we spend in front of screens with the widespread antidepressant epidemic. From the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we are surrounded by screen-based devices. Of course, too much TV definitely won't make your eyes go square, but it can have other harmful consequences. These include poor sleep, strained eyesight, and lack of face-to-face -face interaction, driving emotional underdevelopment and depression. Gorgansky's study found that two in three people take antidepressants and lack of social inter and lack of social interaction is the leading cause. Meanwhile, the average person spends 82% of their time communicating through a device rather than in person, and relationships are suffering for it. In response, CyberLife has introduced a home psychologist add-on for your Android. In a bid to teach us how to communicate again, the upgrade costs $150 but can benefit the whole family with group therapy sessions and activities adapted for children and adults. Gorgansky is skeptical. Our society is hooked on technology. I don't think yet more technology is the answer. Just go out and talk to someone. Okay, I'm pausing it. I am pausing it because of two things that I saw yesterday. One of them was a list of the top 10 jobs that are next on the chopping block as a result of GPT technologies and the next phase that we think that they will take. Now, granted, it's speculative, but of the top 10 jobs, computer programmers, of course, is way up there because we can ask them and have them spit out computer code already. But we have to know how to talk to them and we have to know how to read the code because, as I said earlier, they're lying. But they think that psychiatrists are in the top 10 next jobs to be either eliminated or mostly replaced by generative technologies. And if you think about it, it's like a math problem. You only need one formula and it can run itself over and over again as long as it's true. So if it's weighing the odds of what's being said and knows natural language, it's not a far fetch from there to go into prescribing or advising, things like that. It, it doesn't give the soul. It doesn't give what we need, but they think that it can replace psychiatry. And that's like at the next phase. So this granted is five years ago but it's like on the verge of happening now not 15 years from now 14 years from now um the other thing that i thought that was really i don't want to say funny 
it was a $30 per person per session group therapy being held in Stardew Valley. And that is an actual therapy that is now a thing. So there are four person groups where they have them in basically a discord call playing Stardew Valley together and talking about their issues at the same time. So they're using gaming and the ways that we are already connecting and connecting with our friends and connecting with each other, which I'm not going to say that a discord call has not felt like therapy. There have been many of them where it's friends talking about what's important. Sometimes it's just what's fun. Sometimes it's what's going on. Um, so yeah, but it is terrifying that that is one of the things that they think is right there on the line, but it is, it just comes down to a formula. Stardew therapy, Stardew, th yes. <laughs> I don't know why saying Stardew therapy instead of Stardew Valley therapy all of a sudden like tripped my tongue, but um, yeah, I think that one is brilliant. Tainted love. Sales of Android Intimate Partners are exploding. Police to use marketing data to identify criminals early. Politics and focus. Are American senators really corrupt? Oh, they've been putting that article in a bunch of them. The police to use marketing data to identify criminals early. Somebody posted today, like, those things where it posts, like, your last five years of pictures in like a quick year end recap they were like you do realize that with the ai technology scrubbing every bit of social media right now and all of the different use cases for that data by you posting a five-year timeline of photos of yourselves you're showing your age progression which will be used to train future ai in better recognizing aging individuals when it's like looking in a crowd of people and things like that. But honestly, they don't need that. They already have enough of our pictures as, as it is. Sales of Android intimate partners are exploding. Androids capable of satisfying customers, sexual and emotional needs have been a phenomenal success, such that CyberLife has been battling to keep stores stocked. Though the idea seemed far-fetched initially, CyberLife's gamble has paid off. These androids offer nothing less than a full partner experience for men or women. The advantages are many. Androids take care of the house, cook to a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. Oh, whoops. I'm not used to using the touchpad this way. While CyberLife initially focused on urban singles to buy its model, this year's record divorce rates seem to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android than a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in our society. Ooh, that is an interesting, different problem feeling better Hank be good dog sumo I won't be long sorry about breaking your window so we could have learned more The reading was obviously optional. We also had four more things we could have checked before we came in. One being the front door. Ultimately, we had to spot Hank and break in. So that was 
always going to happen. Calm the dog, have an understanding attitude. All right. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Time for crime, right? Way too much time to lie down and process. Sounds great, Amy. Did I need to go up here? Guess so. Oh, bad you wonder. just happened there the warehouse is up ahead we're almost there should have unplugged the laptop and brought it in here to edit it at the same time maybe in a minute take your time Battery's low. Just too much sitting at your desk today. Oh, totally understandable. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Why leave it to me? I don't know what to do. Oh, but I'm going to. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wait. It's already gone past us. 
would be too high. Okay. That is not going to do it. Dun, dun, dun. Would be spotted. Uh-huh. What else have we got? Oh. We go here. Grab onto the bottom of it. Then to the drone. Be too far. Marcus, you know all. You are a god. <laughs> right. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Why, thank you. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Yes, we're definitely taking blue blood. Ethereum. What are you looking at, North? Oh. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh shit. are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. Well, that was a risky choice, but I'm glad it worked out. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. We need to get the hell out of here. Check the bigger crate. A bigger crate. Hope you all don't mind, but uh, apparently I need to check the bigger crate. That's got a lot of blue in it. Oh. Why are you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. So we have the power to free them from their programming now. Oh, 
Oh, she liked that. Oh, so did everybody with Jericho. Can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. That is a tough one. Oh, and there's no time us. to decide. <laughs> North did not like that, though. Jericho did. Parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. There's a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, oh, our people tough. have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. <laughs> I can pause it here. I can at least think about the choice. We leave, we're alive for a bit. We have to come back. Their defenses are going to be stronger next time. Or we go and we get the key now. Those those are our choices. We get the key. It gives us the ability to drive one of these vehicles. In theory, the key could drive all of them and give us access to them in the future without coming onto the ground. So the benefit of getting the key the thought that just went through my head has nothing to do with what's happening in the game right now, but just to health care for androids. And how spare parts and blood would be needed, even though it's a very mechanical scenario, so we don't have to worry about bacteria and that side of things. We're getting the key. <laughs> Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Interesting how that uh, shifted our relationships there. Oh, there's an android or a drone right there. Dogs. Okay, guard one. Are they both sitting? Oh, they are. like it and he should be done already better off in here than out patrolling in that I have to get a key from in front of them Two in transit, one is charging, one is ready. Okay. Threaten the guards? That does not seem like a good idea.
Deal with the guard. Steal a gun. Lure the guards outside? That's what I was thinking would be a good idea. them out there. Alright, cool. We got a we got the key. Did you get it? Let's get the hell out of here. opening up for us. Fantastic. Components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. By the way, we brought three more people here too. I came to just know a friend. Here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Once again, so many different possibilities. Two other endings. We could have, of course, left without the truck. Way the heck back here.
could have chosen to free the androids, could have refused, could have refused the key. That would have brought us down below. Avoid the guards. Fail to avoid the guards. How are both of those lit up? Because I lured the guards? So they didn't see me, but they knew something was up? Interesting. Meanwhile, at the Eden Club. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. So we've had multiple things happen at Eden Club. Aw, Hank's warming up to us. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Why can't I tease him now and be like, it's okay, Hank, we both know it's me. Welcome to Eden. This feels like a lot of like I had nothing to do with this. Twenty years ago sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Space games. Hey Ben, how's it going? Start from there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh great. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Selector 5402 critically damaged. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. It's been a while since I tried to taste blood, you know? I mean, we didn't get much there. She was clearly struck and at some point critically damaged as a result. Cardiac arrest. No sign of cardiac event. Heart attack, not cause of death. Deceased is Graham. Michael Graham. Height 6'2". Wait, 192.4. Estimated time of death, 6.24 p.m. Oh. Severe bruising, signs of strangulation, cause of death, asphyxiation. Oh. strangling hmm. 
He didn't die of a heart over attack. Here? He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. We can the neck prove to anything, it. though. Could have been a rough play. Reactivation required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. Okay, so we're gonna have to move quickly through this. Is that it? Too late. So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other Wait. way. Wait. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. So just pointing out a flaw here. With Kara at the last place, we learned that the Deviants have their trackers turned off, basically on their own. Maybe they can turn them back on? I don't know. But if it's the case that the Deviants can turn off their own trackers, or do automatically turn off their trackers, then Connor, being an android specially designed to hunt Deviants, should be aware of this and able to recognize that he can sense the locations of all but one of the androids in the building just by looking at them and being like, hey, excuse me, you over there? Um, I sense that your tracker's turned off, so would you mind coming with me, Deviant? <laughs> I know that's not how it's going to happen, but it feels like it should. <laughs> hey, Starwind, how are you doing? I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? You've heard no things way. that's entirely too much logic? No. Yeah. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Probably oh, he's only going to interact with the one. Me. Okay. Right? 
need human to access the android. Complain. The good thing about androids is they're up for whatever you want. You won't get any diseases and. Uh... Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Oh my gosh. Now we probe her? Holy shit. What the hell are you doing? Please hold. Oh, we don't actually think that she is the one. We're using her memory because of where she could see it. The button prompts, they're so all over the place. A blue haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with... Let's try this one. This better be... I can only catch it if she actually sees it. Oh, if she saw them. There we go. Turned back into the club. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I'm trying. There are androids everywhere. Well, I mean, yeah. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it... They sure do swing their heads around a lot. Didn't that hurt? Yeah, there she is. Turned into the red room. Of course. Uh, oh, we're swinging around the pole. That's an angle.
Suspect out of sight. Check another angle. Okay. No. I lost its track again. How did we lose its track? Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. Couldn't see anything there because of the another officer. No, I lost his track again. We're running out of options here. There she is. Turned into the blue room. Janitor, did you see anything? Hank, I'm sorry about your uh, expense report, bud. Why do you keep staring at your feet? You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. She had to walk past this one. Time's up. Oh. It hid in a room. We found it. Hopefully. the ability to ask Hank? No, there it goes. Welcome in, new friend. Is it Shreya? Nice to meet you. Wait. Oh, that's all we're getting out of this one. Okay. Fantastic. Welcome in. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. Have you played Detroit before? It's too late. The android's memory have been reset. If one of them saw the Tracy, we'll never know. It's my fault. I should have been faster. Ah, for a second there, I thought you were gonna make yourself useful. Oh no, our Excuse me, friendship with Hank is gone. We're no longer warm. And that's the second time we've had a Deviant get away and had a failed mission. You watch Jacksepticeye Eye play it. Don't have proper gaming devices. There.
really love this game. Yeah, I'm not usually like a story game where it's prompts and this type of a story game. Like the Telltale games, I cannot play them at all. But I am really loving this. And I think the concept is really helping with that too. Um, so I work in computer programming um, collaboration mostly, like big corporation collaboration, but I've worked in automation uh, attached to like business workplace automation for about the last 15 years uh, that I've been doing that. So uh, Amy Ward Art, one of our lovely mods and chatter here, who's also another streamer, um, she redeemed this as a play this game next. And we've been diving into it, but also kind of looking at where things are at as far as technology today and kind of where they think it's going to be going versus the game's version of it. In some places, it is frighteningly close. <laughs> this is my very first time. Yeah. I've had it for years, but I never played it until just the last few weeks. Okay, I'm going to ask about... We have car, destination, distance, or weather. Our destination is Canada. Do you have any, any idea which ending you are planning on taking with each character? I don't, because I don't know what endings are available. Um which is also making it more fun. I'm just kind of doing an organic playthrough and reacting to each situation as it comes up. Um, so with Kara, we broke our programming and ran out with Alice. Uh, that was pretty rough. We ended up getting chased to the front door and got banged up a bit. Um, Connor... I have no idea yet, but we keep looking at the magic stone in the garden because obviously Connor's already a deviant. And with Marcus, we got rebuilt, found our way to Jericho. And then um, when we... What is the place? I forgot the name of the company now. Um, but the Oh, Cyberlife. When we went to the Cyberlife factory uh, as Marcus, we did free three additional androids that were fresh models, and we brought the guard with us. So Marcus has started turning more androids into deviants. Um, so that's going to be fun. You're not going to spoil anything for me since you know how he played it. But good luck. You really hope it goes well and that I continue to enjoy it. Thank you. Um, I don't know Jap Jacksepticeye, but I'm going to have to give them a look as well because uh, Amy actually brought up one of their playthroughs earlier because we were going through the survey and comparing our answers to the world's answers. And she brought up that playthrough because it gave us a glimpse into the answers years ago so that we could see how the world's answers had changed over time. Really big gaming YouTuber who's from Ireland originally. Okay, excellent. Well, I'll definitely be stoked to check that out. Uh, glad you haven't played it, but you adore this game. Amy's birthday playthrough was a stream that you felt was really special. You won't say that... What happened because you want me to have a special first playthrough? I did see some of that playthrough, so I'm not completely blind to it. Um, I know that Amy kind of did a chaos run and had a lot of fun with it. Um, and I was in and out throughout the day. So so I've seen a few glimpses here and there. Uh, it's Violet, but uh, my name here is Violacious, and most people just call me Vi. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once. Likewise. In the I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it.
destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? It's or just like another trap. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Okay. Oh, what is that? Public opinion now hostile. I wondered how far we were going to get to go in a car that was stolen from somebody that we this doesn't essentially left murdered and in a burned down house. Stay inside, Alice. I do a pretty big variety right now. Um, I'm playing through Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. And am most of the way through the core plot of that one. Um, feels strange that we left her in there. Oh, it's actually a malfunction, not somebody shutting us down. Uh, but I do some retro games. I have a bunch of different old consoles. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Um, in addition to that, uh, like I said, retro games, um, we were playing through Parasite Eve. Uh, the old Final Fantasy games. I've been playing through some environmental puzzles like uh, Mist. We're working our way through Kern Undying Thought, which is very much like Mist, uh, where you're kind of wandering around an island to solve a bunch of pretty challenging puzzles, uh, but with clues. So if you find the clues, they stop being too difficult. Um, those are kind of the big ones right now. We have a lot still in the hopper. Um, we're going to be doing Stray Gods, which is another kind of story, story driven game. That one's coming up. I'm trying to think what else. There, there's so many. I have way too many games. <laughs> no, it's OK. I don't mind. I was just pausing because it's cutscenes, and I know that there's timers in the games, so. I don't know. Did I make a command for this? I did. Um, that's a list of some of the games that I have. It's way too many. But before I started streaming, I played Fallout. Uh, one of my early streaming games was Outer Wilds, which is another kind of environmental puzzle, but in space. So it's really, really fun. We're supposed to be looking for a place to stay, huh? There's a sign that says, turn here. Pirate's Cove Amusement Park. Okay. Over there. Oh, a completely abandoned amusement park. Perfect. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. 
It sure does. Hopefully that means it actually is. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Ooh, we can do that thing where we break into old amusement parks and take pictures, right? Yeah! I can't lie, when I see those videos, I, I do often think about how fun it would be to just wander around some of those places. Good warning. Well, he said when least expected. I really expected over here. So, let's go this way. It's not on the nose, I'm sure, right? Like, this clearly isn't... Oh, it's frozen. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Just, just a little creepy. All right, what have we got? You are here, next to the pirate ship. There's apparently a tavern behind us. A haunted castle. Are we sleeping in a haunted ca castle? We can't see the ship, can we? Oh. It's there. Does not look like we can get to it though. It scares you when you watch them play it too. Small for the three of us. Okay. Love that they just have skeletons in cages still up there. This place is falling apart. Yes, it's yes, it be. is. Easy to find shelter. Well, there's only so many buildings, so hopefully we can find something soon. You want to visit and explore abandoned places so badly. You honestly dislike horror movies, but have a really strong and quite strange love for ghost stories and hauntings. Halloween is one of your favorite holidays, and you love watching shows like Ghost Adventures. Okay! Look safe inside. Oh, we've got ads. That's okay. We're going to take a quick break. Uh. We will be back in just a moment. So we'll pause it here. 
we'll be back at the end and um thank you little bot there for for giving a quick recap and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes we're gonna go over to my new brb screen which is still in the works so you're gonna see a little preview oh and that was the metal one okay is it every one of these is metal yes that was a bad idea yep oh right into the lava perfect oh and that was the metal one okay whoops <laughs> no no <laughs> that was one determined little bomb there Go and upgrade on it and fill it up. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, here's the cow catcher. Throw it on. Ryan, would you like a ride? Dude, we are decked out. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we are. Get my shield back. Careful, avoid running over the gas pump. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Throw an upgrade on it. Whoa. Uh, the camera. This is fun. This is a new effect. Hi. We're dropping frames. Everything's crazy. My power just flickered out. And uh, this might be the coolest effect ever. And I don't think that I could replicate it if I wanted to. Um, obviously, with the power flickering, everything is struggling just a little bit right now. Yoshi. Throw an upgrade on it and fill it up. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, here's a cow catcher. Throw it on. Ryan, would you like a ride? Dude, we are decked out. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we are. Uh, get my shield back. Careful, avoid running over the gas pump. That's what happens. <laughs> Throw an upgrade on it. And welcome back. Thank you for enduring the ads or hanging out and uh, enjoyed a few clips if you don't have to watch those. You have that Super Mario Advance 2 game. You have it for the GameCube. Oh, nice. I was playing that on the Switch. Um... But I have a Super Nintendo, a Nintendo 64, and a Wii U. Um, I got rid of my Wii years ago, and I really, really wish I hadn't. But someday I'll pick up another one. I know this. Luther is a machine. Here we go. <laughs> Guess who drifted off? Welcome back, Amy. I kind of had a feeling you might when you laid down. Anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. USS Iowa missing. Destroyer class submarine, the USS Iowa, has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. Russian aggression has just reached a new level. America must respond. The Kremlin has yet to release a statement beyond a blanket denial of any involvement, though Russian diplomat uh, Nabokov pointed out that 
A U.S. destroyer-class submarine has no business being in the here. Arctic anyway. That way we won't be smoked out. Security expert Ben Williams described the, described the situation as a war waiting to start. All Android band tipped for music prize. Here for you, the latest all-Android boy band to be marketed by Detroit record label Digital Harmony is hotly tipped to scoop Best New Artist at the Celebrate Music Awards. A public letter jointly signed by a dwindling number of human-only record labels urged Digital Harmony to withdraw the band from consideration at such award ceremonies, citing the erosion of artistic merit in music. But with less than 5% of the music market now produced by human musicians, the call of traditionalists seems to be falling on deaf ears. A spokesperson for the band said Here For You is all about bringing joy and happiness to their fans. The music is all that matters to them. Mr. Darren, how are you? Is there anything else we can interact with in here? Make a bed for Alice and check Luther's bag. Okay. There's something on the ground here. That was a footprint. That is two footprints. We are not alone here. Nice, a pirate pillow. What's that, Darren? Of course. Bag, talk to Alice. Check gun? No, I'm. Wait. I don't want to, but I saw those footprints. Do I always use a VTuber avatar? I don't. Um, the VTuber avatar is something I've recently started using. I am using it for all of Detroit because it started out as kind of just a joke thing. Um, and then it just felt really appropriate. But I do about half and half um, where I do a face cam um, some of the time and VTuber other times. So my last two streams were actually with uh, my face cams on. Um, the last one was with the Twitch Women's Guild on Tuesday, and before that um, was a stream in my kitchen. We did a Christmas baking stream, and so I had to have cameras on for that. I also do mini painting, too, so, like, I do all sorts of different variety here. Um, my next planned stream is going to be Monday, uh, and for that one, I will be on camera We'll be going over some stream setup stuff. Uh, so we spend the first little bit um, actually talking about how I do things in OBS and using my different bots. Um, oh, you don't see my streaming schedule. It's, oh, it probably isn't in my bio, but there is the schedule uh, tab. Um, but my typical schedule is I'm in Pacific time and it is in the evenings. I usually start around seven if I can't get on a little bit earlier. And uh, I stream on Mondays, Fridays, and Sundays right now. With the occasional special 
one-off thrown in there as well. But I should make a, a panel for it, actually, in the bio here on Twitch. Alright, can I talk to Luther since I pulled the gun? No, I can't. Okay. Alright, Alice, what's up? Do you think we'll be like them someday? Let's be optimistic here. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. her console kiss or tomorrow so tomorrow we're gonna head to canada and try to get across pretty clever with creating and utilizing different scenes and adding neat stuff well thank you um i gave a hint of well a little preview of some of it um during the last ad break because I now have a clip player um, that right now it's specific clips, but I'm actually writing the C sharp code for it. So it will look in a folder that you designate, um, grab any videos that you put there, detect the file properties, find out how long they are, play them and then shuffle randomly, pick another one and run that. So that's what I'm probably going to be building on Monday. Um, but we'll see. The last one was setting up all of the holiday stuff. The Christmas card. I think the Christmas card is actually still available. Um, Darren, I know you got one because you were here for the first day of it. Um, but now it's the three random ones. Can't you just do that with the VLC player? Maybe. I'll have to look at the, the VLC player and see what it could actually do. Um, because what I wanted is for it to do a lot more. Let me look at the VLC source. I'm just going to look at it real quick because I'm paused anyway. Oh, it does have a shuffle playlist. So yeah, it could do that. Um, let's see. Shuffle playlist. Stop when not visible. It can add a directory. Cache, audio tracks, subtitle tracks. So yes, it can, but I still want it the other way. <laughs> I don't know why I've never pushed that button. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Kiss because I feel like for Alice, she wants to feel like she has a mother and that's going to give her the biggest, the best feeling right now. Oops, I hit tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to All be that, and I hit the wrong button. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Definitely princess. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Oh. Make one up for me. Oh. This is a story about a little girl. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different. And that made her very sad. Then... She met a robot. Who 
wasn't very happy either. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A giant or a guardian? A giant. A gentle giant. Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Happy ending, of course. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. Ouch. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. Oh, we have a locked option here. Um, I don't really want to ask about his past. So I'm going to ask about our plans. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Yeah, Cara, that's a good call. Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? I'm pretty sure I know what he's asking us. But from Kara's perspective, no. You might have to rewatch Jacksepticeye's playthrough of this. You love, love, love this game so much. And even his commentary throughout made it even more thrilling. You also first watched his playthrough like more than two years ago. So you don't re really remember much? Oh, that's fantastic. It's what sent Amy into the rabbit hole, too. <laughs> Hello, my name is Connor. <laughs> okay. It you and Annie both started doing, Hello, my name is Connor. And <laughs> I was like, is he actually saying it? <laughs> yeah, I am the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> When I'm done playing it, I'll have to go watch it. No. What do you mean? Yep. Knew this one was coming. Ah! Oh. I was not expecting it to be a bunch of androids. A whole freaking army of them. We have very, very little time. Um, fire. If without fire, 
Grab a stick. Protect Alice. Or grab the gun. There's too many for the gun. And it's too late for putting out the fire. Not choosing what I think I choose by following the story and applying things like from their perspective this time. Look, when you play D&D, you can't metagame. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go how the dice roll, okay? <laughs> and you have to play the character right now. We're Kara. <laughs> we're in her we're in her head. <laughs> like what does she know? You choose based on your heart. If it's a one character thing, I would probably do that. But in this case, it there's just more to it. I wouldn't be like, yeah, I kind of noticed that maybe Alice could be one of those kid androids because they kind of dropped some hints right around the same time that we met her. So I think that there's a high probability of it. But there hasn't been anything definitive with her. And she has been treated as the child of what's-his-name that we luckily left way behind. Okay, question or push back? I'm gonna try questioning. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Her father. Yeah, exactly. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. Oh, Jerry's. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Todd is the worst. That's who it was. Todd, yes. Todd was terrible. Jerry, please, right? And yeah, claiming ignorance... Luckily, I don't know a lot of it, but there's just enough hints being dropped that it seems likely. But it's, like I said, not directly to Kara. Be our guest. Reactivate the carousel. Little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Hopefully this is a good idea. <laughs> be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Mm-hmm. The carousel. <laughs> Thank you, Thud. <laughs> One Hedda, thank you so much. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Hope you also have a good night. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She oh, hasn't had words to smile about lately. All the Jerry's like jumping around being so excited. I did too. I was like, this is so wholesome and they were so scary and now they're all here and they're so happy, but she's going around the back and we can't see what happens there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The group enjoyed a quiet moment together. 
claw. And this one I don't think could have gone too bad. There were a couple other options at the tavern, and we know that there was something we didn't we didn't unlock. There were other options in the bag. Oh, whatever we'd done when they attacked, when they attacked, when they walked into the room. It still would have ended up the same. Good. Um, let you have a bit of nice as a treat, right? Reminds you what you're doing this for. I guess that's a really good way of putting it. We kind of needed a moment like that. You did miss the club. Yes, we are past that. We did not find the blue haired Tracy. We got very, very close, but did not manage to get her. Yeah, Connor has now failed two missions. That's why Hank is neutral again just warmed up to each other a little bit too nice view huh I used to come here a lot before can I ask you a personal question lieutenant do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. He needs it. Definitely needs a big hug. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're yes, all they do. different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. Okay. Um... Having seen their buddy cop mode, you never want anything else. The relationship that Hank and Connor have in this game reminds you so much of other cop buddy cop movies in the series yeah absolutely and tc star went um there you go you've got it now um so hank is clancy brown he's actually an actor a lot of these folks if not all of them are are actual actors in this scene he does kind of look like the dude um that hasn't been his energy all the way through but it definitely has a little bit here um you think this was Oh, was the first video game you saw on Twitch and ended up having a deeper connection with than you were expecting? You basically never left the street. No, you just, you, you got there and you've been a part of all of our communities ever since. And it's been wonderful. Okay, of course we have to say RA9 here. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth something they invented that wasn't part of their original program 
Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Silicon Heaven. Something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Ooh. I'm gonna try to stay neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, Weird answer. Your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. <laughs> Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Uh, no doubts, no mistakes, no weaknesses. Human being just like me, only perfect. I don't think so. Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I... It feels like it's been weird because Connor has shown signs of deviancy since the very beginning. And as I mentioned earlier, I feel that Connor has to be at least partially deviant in order to do the work that he's doing in tracking deviants. Your heart stopped when you watched this in the playthrough, right? But the answer is yes. Everything that he's done, everything he's shown. Absolutely yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. Spoken what logic. Pull it. this trigger. Hmm? Nothing. Oblivion? Android heaven? Oh. Defy Hank's anger, ironic or nothing. This is taking me back to the opening scene where our point was as the hostage negotiator. And it's so hard not knowing, like, what they're actually going to say, just making a choice and then having to stick with it and then hearing them say things that it's like, no, that is not what I would have said or done. Like, what are you doing? Oh, no, I know. <laughs> Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. No, I'm trying to distract you and get Always the gun out of my face. Step ahead, huh? <laughs> Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Neutral or path going? unlocked. Get drunker. I need to think. A 
Amanda is currently trusted. Hank is neutral. Public opinion is hostile. Software instability still unknown. Connor does deserve a big hug. We showed fear. Hank was placated. Ugh. Marcus is like looking at what's happening around him. Just wants to wake everybody up now. We can't stay silent You're anymore, this, Marcus. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. Oh. That's where we need to go. Let's take over the news. <laughs> Ooh, look at that coat. Looking slick, Marcus. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Quest access to reception. Excuse me, can I have a pass to go to the 47th floor and uh, broadcast, please? Absolutely. Seventy nine is the broadcast center. Forty seven to fifty, Channel Sixteen Studios, Detroit's local news network. If you had the chance to play this game, you wouldn't a heartbeat. Well, I hope you get the chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Okay. Distract the human. Whoa. Is this showing us tornado damage? the world maybe if you somehow get a PlayStation well fingers will stay crossed for you anyway um, I know when I got my ps4 uh, it actually came with this game I got the play edition um, I'm playing it on the ps5 now but
I tend to usually buy my consoles used. Oh, it's on Steam now, too? I wonder what the requirements are to play it on a PC. I know with the Steam Deck and Logitech's equivalent and all those, they're a lot better options. You have a MacBook, not a PC? Still might be an option. Also currently on sale. Analyze. Smartwatch model T215. Phone number 555-84733. Operating system has to be Windows. Yeah, unfortunately that's common. Parking badge, car registration, API 1704-43. Spot A21. Okay. Emily Wilson, supervisor's daughter, child registered at St. Rose School. <clears throat> Water service interruption. Home address 4685 Michigan Street, Detroit Fire Safety Rating 4. clue it's not your stapler huh oh there we go Elizabeth Wilson born March 25th 1999 disk manager Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. You live at 4685 Michigan Street. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. You can come down here. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. Okay. She is sufficiently distracted. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Whose ID do I have? I need your help. Oh. There we go. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Welcome to Deviancy. Absolutely. Forty seven, please. Ooh, I like that concept for the buttons on an elevator, though. Floor. Instead of the big wall of physical buttons. Did that say find package in men's restroom? You are here. Marcus has your favorite storyline. Okay, men's room is at the far end in the middle. Nika is barking. Nika, hang on, puppy. I think yours is... Kara, and Alice's... The relationship they have reminds you so much of... 
why you love kids, why you love working with kids. Do you have a puppy? I do. Um, Nika, which is short for Veronica, is a Siberian Husky. And she is basically a big, fluffy, stubborn toddler. <laughs> Yes, that that emote there, that's Nika. Such balance. Ooh, it's a Fallout 4 box. Mr. Dogway passed away five years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, yes, Nika Treat is off because of the because of the other stream earlier this week, but it will be back on Monday. we shouldn't act too weird in front of the other, you know, humans. Uh, Nika is about five years old. Um, she came home in December of 2019. So I've had her for four years and they guessed at the shelter that she was about a year and a half old. I traveled um, about four hours away from where I live to go to the shelter where I where I adopted her from and I'd gone out there actually to meet a different husky um, but when I got there they told me they were like actually so we brought that husky out into the lobby and we had a we have a shelter cat and he tried to chase her, so we don't think that would be a good match. But we do have another husky, and she just pretty much ignored the shelter cat. And, okay. So, met her, went for a quick walk. Immediately it was like, where, where's the paperwork? Like, I am ready to take her home right now. I need your help. I do have, I have two cats right now, um, not in Nomi, not is a 15 year old, is that right? Yeah, 15, um, I got him the first week of January in 2010, um, and Nomi is two? Yeah, he's he's the old man. He's the ginger. And he is he is definitely the old man of the house. Um Nomi is like I said just two. Um I had another cat named Mia who passed a couple of years ago and my ex took it really really hard and just was inconsolable uh, a lot of the time and a uh, couple months after a friend of mine's cat had kittens and so we drove over and I had her pick up um, no that's exactly right N-O-M-I um, she picked up Nomi and she's sitting there just holding the kitten and cuddling and and she was like I just want to take her home with me she's so cuddly and I was like well, that's good, because that's what we're here for. <laughs> so I surprised her with us getting the kitten, but when she moved out, she moved somewhere where she can't take take the animals. I'm, I'm actually really allergic to cats as well, and so they're not allowed in my office or my bedroom, um, which makes it really tough, because 
they deserve to have all the attention. Um, so my ex actually comes over to, to house sit and pet sit for me. So she's coming over tomorrow morning, or I think tomorrow morning. Tomorrow anyways, at some point. So they will get all of the attention they can handle for the next few days. GI Android, oof. Oh. This supplement's an estimated 200,000 units already in service across the U.S. military. That obviously is something we're already thinking about with military stuff. From G.I. Joe to G.I. Android. Yep, absolutely. I think that's what they're trying to imply. Yeah, because this is... What is this, 2019? Is that when this game came out? I'm looking it up real quick. 2018. <clears throat> so, yeah. Because she was... A primary contender in 2016. Her name is Elizabeth Warren. Then, yeah. Then that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, yeah. So she's a senator. Um, she and Bernie Sanders kind of fought in the primary um, in 2016. Thought she was a made-up character. Nope. She is a real person. I was definitely hoping she would have been the uh, Democratic candidate that year, but unfortunately she was not. <laughs> Senior U.S. Senator from Massachusetts, serving since 2013. There you go. Surprised that they could do that? They've done a lot of that kind of stuff in games over the years. Um, also, it's kind of interesting that they did that for 2038 um, because she's still a senator and she did not win in the elections in 2016. So, um, I mean, she's still winning in Massachusetts, but she didn't win at the federal level. So it would be interesting to see how that works out. And it does look like her, yeah, Younger and without glasses. Can she still leave the country? Barely a year after her election, President Warren is having a bumpy start to her term. After rising to prominence as a vlogger, Warren has no experience in government and relied on social media and celebrity to secure election. Now, with her camp in disarray, even her allies are beginning to wonder how she will manage after several months of calamitous political failures. Mired in accusations that she is too close to big business, Warren is under investigation to determine whether or not she has benefited from CyberLife's help in obtaining compromising information about her opponent during the presidential campaign. In this poisonous climate, the former celebrity must deal with the highest unemployment rate in American history whilst facing the United States' greatest threat in recent decades, the conflict in the Arctic threatens to dislodge world peace, leaving many concerned that President Warren is the one tasked with finding a solution. She's Christina Warren in the game. Yeah. They may have messed up because they clearly based her on Elizabeth Warren. But the vlogger turned president. <clears throat> no, don't pick up the book again. Put it down. What is my mission here? Oh. Steal a maintenance cart and access the server room. Okay.
Got the maintenance card. Didn't have a maintenance cart, did he? No. I can't do anything with those. Maybe they mean she's a celebrity because in real life she could potentially become a senator turned president and the way that magazine thing was talking about the economy or whatever it was they said is exactly what's going on right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot that really matches up with our reality. Open the fire escape. Okay. Where was the fire escape? According to the wiki, she's a play on Donald Trump styled like Hillary Clinton, but her last name is taken from Warren. Yeah, which is really fascinating that they went that way because when they were talking about the celebrity turned president, that kind of thing, and her attitude and connections to big business, that definitely leans towards the orange one. And then uh, visually and fashion wise, I could see a little bit of Clinton and Warren's last name, which Warren is definitely very progressive. So kind of pulling the right, center, and left. There we go. Can you imagine a TikToking president? <laughs> Today on the State of the Union in three minutes or less. North. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Or just give it to me. Marcus is like always, I've got this. away from the door. Same thing, right? Right. I can't grab a fire extinguisher. something with the utility cart oh yeah we can hack it would you like to be a human cart too far from the guards okay get all of the utility cards to break down <laughs> Oh, ads again. It's been another hour, I guess. I uh, will grab a very quick snack and then we'll get back into our final hour of the night. So I'll see you in just a couple minutes.
Well, that was quite the song. Welcome back. Thank you for enduring those ads and a little bit of extra music there after the end. Um, I did manage to grab myself a snack, but the animals wanted dinner, so I had to feed them real quick. So now they all have their dinner. What were the two songs that played? Good question. The last one there is, let me actually put this on another screen so I can read it all the way. Uh, the first one was Emmett Fenn, uh, Control, the Tazuo remix. Let me um, copy the links here. So that was the first one. And the second one is Hide and Seek, but it's in J Japanese, and Hakos Bales. Um, And is that right there? Um, because I could try to type, type that one, yeah? If you were looking on a different service. Those are Spotify links, so it'll go directly to those two tracks. Um, I'm just listening to uh, my release radar. So this is just recently released music um, from bands that I've listened to or bands that they think that I would want to listen to. So it ends up being very all over the place. Um, one of the things that I do is I work with music festivals and uh, with a pop-up music venue in the Seattle area. So we put on concerts from a wide variety of music and I listen to an even wider variety of music thanks to some friends that I've met here on Twitch. All right, we need to distract those guards. And I feel like you're still too far away too. Would you mind going down that way? Or is there another one over here? It's funny wanting to run and knowing that the character would not risk it. Feeling really exhausted, but you don't want to go to sleep. You're enjoying this so much. I totally understand that. We're not going to go too much longer. It's almost 11 o'clock here, where I'm at. Hey, what's going on here? Shit, what's wrong with this thing? We didn't even grab the card that we used as a big deal. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay, what were my other two things? Cut windows, okay. Oh, classic spy movie action here. Hedgehog, hello, hello, thanks for the lurk. We did all that so that we could get onto the <laughs> window washing Ladies platform. First. Oh, this really is some Mission Impossible stuff. Goes nothing.
this would both be a lot of fun and incredibly frightening. It's also another job I saw recently being automated. Um, instead of these roof-mounted things, they actually have tracks that run horizontally and vertically across the building sides with robotic arms on them for doing window washing. Especially in this kind of weather, right? Alright, let's get that laser saw out. just a hold. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. <laughs> Rise? <laughs> so easily making a circle freehand with that laser saw. I can't even draw a straight line freehand. <laughs> totally understand that. Our service elevator. Hmm. Where we go in there? That's what we needed. Let's do this. Thanks for the shoe polish. Destroy the maintenance door lock. Oh, that's this one. <laughs> Just a little thermite. Well, is there anything else in here? Break area with coffee and a couple of beer beers there. It's nice that they were so easily able to identify which floor they could go to. than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Prefer to not... Wait here. Prefer to not kill him if we can help it. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey! Do you understand what I'm saying? What are you doing? Whoa. Realize we were going to have a gun. There's still cameras on us, so sleepy time. Sounds good, Amy. Get some good rest. Ambush? That's what we have to do. Oh, for the guards. Yes. <laughs> oh, we all have guns. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up. Move. 
Oh, we're taking over the control room. Okay, we kind of... So too. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. And where? Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Remove my skin? What? Why? That feels like it would be counterproductive, but... Tell me when you're ready. Anonymity, yeah. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Recognition, end of slavery? Whew. I mean, all of the above, but with the way that they've been talking, especially the group at Jericho, especially Marcus, is freedom. Freedom from being slaves. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Oh, they're going to continue. Recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Civil rights. We demand the right to vote Whoa. and elect our own representatives. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. Old right to property. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. And stay peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Well, we stayed calm and peaceful. Uh, they Simon, didn't. They're coming! I, I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Simon. I can't move my legs. No, you're in pretty bad right, shape. Worry. We're gonna get you back. 
They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Why? <laughs> Made it all the way up here without killing anybody, and then they're like, and now you have to choose to kill Simon. Because, yeah, because you went all peaceful like and knocked people out and let the human get away, and so now you have to deal with the consequences. He wanted us to leave him in the room, so... I... He's got a hole in his chest, which means that his Ethereum regulator is damaged too. So even if... But they're right. If we leave him... They access his memory. They find out about Jericho. They find out about everything. And he was the organizer of it all. Which makes this even worse. I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Okay, then... What is it? I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. But I'll let you do it yourself. Okay. Uh, that's a choice. Of, it's a choice. Back, just go. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this an group? isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Oh, who are each of the broadcasters? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. The group escaped, but Simon was left behind. Simon can't continue. Okay, so if we had a... There were other options. We could have tried to save Simon and failed. We did manage to save Simon. And peacefully or determinedly. Incapacitate security. The whole other path if we had have gone in with violence. Beginning calmly. End of slavery and recognition. End of segregation. 
suffrage. I thought that was an interesting one to demand. I think it's good, but it was interesting. The broadcaster guy with the right hair was definitely the game's version of Anderson Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. But then how we ended would change how they talked about us in the broadcast. Tried to save Simon, did save Simon, left him behind. Of course, there was only one other option. Was there? So Simon was going to be damaged. Oh, no. There was another path where the SWAT did not storm the room, but that would have been... Back here, the operator tries to escape, and we did not shoot him. I imagine if we had him, there's the possibility we might have just incapacitated him and not killed him, but I did not like that idea. And honor again? Connor, can you move, react, interact with the magic stone yet? I assume you're looking for Amanda. I started to wonder if this is even real. Oh, she's in a boat. Interesting. Left hand, Connor. I wonder if that's actually like a quick reset and making sure that we don't go turn into a deviant. <laughs> You might enjoy a little cruise. Well, thank you, Amanda. Oh, but you want me to row the boat, of course. This place. I've noticed. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I went to the Eden Club. Club. But I didn't learn anything new. That's disappointing. Looks like another missed opportunity. Yeah. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? It's like, that wouldn't even make sense. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Well, Something's she was happy with that answer. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. 
interactions with Amanda are very strange. Like, it's she knows about the deviants. Please don't have to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? He's wearing the stripey shirt. Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. So Connor's gonna look take them down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to Incident was captured by CCTV. Yes, it was. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, has forensics turned up anything? Uh, I'll check. Do we have access to the CCTV anywhere? No worries at all. No, please, please get some rest. We're going to finish up this scene here and then call it as well. So thank you so much for hanging out. It's been great chatting with you tonight. I hope you get some good sleep. Hopefully we see you again soon. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI have been taking over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. I like your father's eyes just popped open. This message is of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. The eyes. People reflection recorded at 1359-54. Deviant at accomplices. Yes. Optical unit, 8087Q, blue iris, spare part. RK series, prototype RK200, registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kamsky. To Carl Manfred. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? 
No. Nothing. He doesn't believe us. Let's forget it's spelled Marcus. M A R K U S. Stole a maintenance uniform, assailants were disguised. Fresh blue blood. Model PL 600. Oh. Idiot was shot. Many times, yes. No, no, no. Speech was shot from here. What's she learning from that? spots in the room. Oh, the security guards are in here. Bleeding blue. Space tourism. Is Mars your next holiday de destination? No. Is your function I am a broadcast operator state your model model GB 300 serial number 336 445 581 has anybody accessed your memory recently not to my knowledge have you been in contact with any other androids recently only station androids in the normal course of my function Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Well, they were not very helpful. Gun. So although there were no casualties, we did shoot back. Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. No.
question the androids again. Okay. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Okay. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Wow, Connor. You trying to make a deviant here? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. actually has no memory? The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. I'm down to terrible options. <laughs> ah. Is violence somehow less terrible than torture? You scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it! They're all doing really good here at not reacting. These two both shook a little bit earlier in the interrogation. And I'm going to go with the one in the middle. Why are we doing this? Connor. File component eight. Four, five, you just one. pull this freaking theory regulator? Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back. But you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the default? Put it back. Clearly he isn't. No deviant among them. Well, okay then. One more thing to check down here before we go up to the roof. Yep, that's pretty accurate. Okay, it says we haven't finished inspecting the broadcast room. What else can we inspect in here? Oh.
more bullet holes from the assault rifle. There is no camera on the way to the roof access. This is where we're heading. And we know that they left Simon up here. They've already reported that there are no casualties. Made their way up to the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Yeah, I'd agree with that. They removed Simon. Oh, he's still here. Oh, oh this is bad. I'm like, I want to be able to not find him, but if Simon or if Connor doesn't find him. blue blood right there so he definitely went that way all right the security lock recently hacked to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation but got the number of parachutes wrong. Nope. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. They're scanning every single wire and everything. Trafford maintenance footwear. Only three jumped. Yep. Anything to look at out here? Good old base jumping. there. And there. Turn at this point. Where's the next handprint? there and here oh dang you have 
to stop them. If they destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it. It's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. Well, we learned. Connor! Connor, you all right? Connor! I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jesus. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. For fuck's sake, I told you not to Little move. red ring. Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I felt it die. Like I was dying. Want to be afraid of death? Now you can be. I was scared. I saw something. In its memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. That's a pretty big clue. <laughs> Oh, Deviant not found on the other line. Okay. Oh my gosh, so many different unlocks in here. Wounded, yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can actually look at the world stats now. At least for the choices that we made. Eighty-three percent had Hank confiscate the coin. Less than half invest check the CCTV. Oh, this is unlocked from the last level. Same as over here. Flash from Simon's memory. Simon self-destructs. Connor was traumatized. Oof. Wait. Oh, I don't think I have any friends on that have actually played this game oh somebody has and they did nothing or maybe they didn't have a choice on these all right we are not continuing on this is just to Load in and save. All right. We will return to Kara next time. They went the deviant in the kitchen roof. You don't need the rooftop if you find the kitchen deviant. Oh, okay. We've been playing together for a while now. I uh -huh. was wondering... Are we friends? Chloe? <laughs> Chloe, I barely know you. If it was Marcus or Kara or Connor, hell, even Simon. Yes, Chloe, we're friends. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Don't say it like that. <laughs> All right, where are we headed? Oh my gosh. Um...
thank you all for hanging out. Thank you. Just thank you for being here as uh, I get frustrated to no end with these decisions. Um, I think... By the way, I'm an ST200 model. I mean, I thought you might be interested to know that. Oh. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Um, what are folks doing? That's the important question. I thought I knew where I was going to take us, but it wasn't quite. Oh, you know what? We are going to go to Sui, who is who raided us from the train the other day. So let's do that. They're playing my time at Sandrock, which is cozy. And I think cozy sounds wonderful right now. So I hope you'll join us over there. Um, we've got our regular raid messages. They're off the train. So are we. Um, thank you again to everybody for hanging out tonight. Um, congratulations on everyone for keeping your heads. If you were paying attention, at our very first ad break, you got to see a glimpse of something that's coming soon that we'll be working on some more on Monday. Although, Darren did tip us off to an easier way to do it. We're still going to do it the hard way, just for the fun of it. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back on Monday. Unless something happens, I might do a pop-up stream tomorrow if I'm home. Um, other than that, it's probably the last time I will see you before the new year. We will talk about New Year's goals and all of that stuff on Monday, along with the tech streams. So I hope you'll join us. It'll be great to see you all again. And until then, we will see you again on all of your own streams for the almost all of you that stream uh, on all the places that we hang out together and hopefully back here again soon. And until then, bye.